Hola, bom dia mundo. Beautiful morning today. Look at that sky. Story's just having a sleep. Let me just turn down the music a little bit. We've been doing some chores this morning, getting everything clean while Story's in bed. It's the best time to do it. Listening to some above and beyond, keep us motivated. Our plans haven't actually gone to plan this morning. We were supposed to be going to a community market this morning with our friends, but Story fell asleep and hasn't woken up for ages. So we're just waiting for her to get up. This is what the weather is looking like. By the time Story actually does wake up though, the market will be finished. So instead we're gonna catch up on some work and I think we'll do some gardening today, see if we can save these green beans. I'm gonna have to do some Google research. These aren't doing so well, even though we've been watering them every day. I don't think they've got enough space in their little trays, but even the ones that we've planted down there, they're not growing either. I think possibly it's just getting too much sun out here and it's getting pretty hot. Now the summer's kicking in. I've gone and locked myself out. <laughs> That's good timing, I just locked myself out. Oh. <laughs> Our uh, beans aren't doing too well. No, I know. Yeah, we're gonna have to try and Google, see where we can replant them or something. We don't have green fingers just yet. No. <laughs> well, this isn't promising. It says they're incredibly easy to grow and yet I can't grow them. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? In that brief interlude, story's woken up. Haven't you? What have you got to eat there? Tasty blueberries. <laughs> Are those all for you? Can Daddy have one? Yeah? Thank you. Mmm, cold, aren't they? From the fridge. Oh no. Yum. We're outside now, just made some lunch here. Pumpernickel bread with fresh tomatoes and basil from our little herb se section up there. The story's occupado down there. She made a good effort with those blueberries. That was almost a full ball and she's got that far into it. You want some more? Oh, dig at the bottom, dig, dig, my boy, dig, dig. You want to do more dig dig? No problem. Oh. Story is at a really interesting age now where you can just watch her and see her making decisions, switching her mind and going from one toy to the next, making a statement about it. And it's really cool to see how much of a personality she's getting now, just in her facial expressions. Leaf! <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> It's difficult to capture it on camera all the time, but sometimes there's these tiny little moments between moments when she'll do a face that's so adult. It's strange. What have you found? A bug? It's a fly, isn't it? Yeah. I like the fact that we can have a chat with you nowadays as well, Story. You understand what we say, don't you? It's purple. Is it? This is brown actually. I haven't mentioned this in the vlogs yet, but about two nights ago I put Story to bed and she looked me right in the eye and she went, I'm happy. And I was like, oh, they're so cute. At the same time though, it was a little bit freaky because I've never ever had that kind of direct eye contact. Two words in a sentence, I'm growing up feeling come from her until that moment. It kind of freaked me out a little bit. I wasn't expecting to feel that way. But at the same time, I'm glad that her first two proper words together in a sentence were, I'm happy. You don't like that bug on you, do you? I have to admit, Story, nobody really likes flies on them. They're annoying, aren't they? It goes in the way. Yeah, go away. Are you going to give the lavender to Mama? Is that your gift to her? To Mama. Yeah, she's coming down. You can give her the lavender that you just picked. Yeah? Story has a gift for you. Wow. She picked it and she, she couldn't quite grab it off, so she said, please, please. So I helped her take it off, and she's like, I can give it to Mama. Oh, it's me. Thank you. Ooh, lavender. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Is it a nice bounty? Lovely. 
Mm. Maybe I'll make it into tea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to get more? Do you need help? Or can you manage? You need help? <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's happening now? <laughs> Is it a sorbet? <laughs> You sweet girl. Would you like to try it? Is it mango flavour? Mango and passion fruit. Ooh, I love passion fruit. Thank you. Da -da. <laughs> That's how you say thank you, isn't it? Okay, da -da. Hold both hands. <laughs> She's, in the bottom <laughs> She's going for the cup of oh, biscuit no. on the bottom. How's that? <laughs> you want another one? All done. <laughs> Look how dirty your face has got. She's trying to mimic the sound of the bird. What's your opinion? They're nice. Yeah. They taste mangoey. Yeah, it's good. Very nice. It's a bit windy out here. <laughs> <laughs> you just got smashed with a dig dig patch. The sand flying around. It's alright, we'll sort the dig dig out in a minute. Hmm. Oh, what is it? You've got your hand covered in mango juice, is that what it is? <laughs> uh, you've got a personality now, haven't you? <laughs> and how do pigs go? <laughs> Is that what pigs do? <laughs> they do that too? You're really concerned that your dig dig fell down, <laughs> aren't you? Don't worry, we'll fix it in a minute. Just enjoy your ice cream. Well, I think Stories has enjoyed her little ice cream. They were dairy free mango and passion fruit sorbets from Lidl. They were quite nice. I've just been sitting here fascinated watching Story eating her ice cream. I just can't believe how grown up she's gotten. She actually just picked up the tissue herself and wiped her own mouth. <laughs> She's no longer a baby, that is for sure. She's sitting here on the chair all by herself, no help needed, eating your own ice cream. <laughs> Cheeky face. I'm just standing outside here on the balcony and one of our neighbours is, is walking by with a huge flower pot resting on her head. This is the first country we've been to in Europe where that kind of practice is still done. And it's really cool to see. And it makes sense as well. If you have such a heavy weight like that, it's probably the only place you can hold it that wouldn't break your back. We've decided to have another summery quiche tonight, so I'm gonna go buy some pastry. We don't even have flour, so we can't make it ourselves tonight. But even if we did have flour, I don't think I could be bothered to make pastry tonight. When the weather is beautiful like this, it makes any drive, even just a boring trip to the shops, look so beautiful. Look at the sky today, it's fantastic. There's something special about these clouds. They're like little silky sheets. Jay's back from the shop now, and Story wanted to put away all of the nappies, so that's what she has been doing for the last few minutes. I'm out in the kitchen and I'm about to make our dinner. I'm gonna do a lovely vegan quiche tonight. I'm gonna do courgette, 
leek and broccoli and also do some potato wedges with it because we've got quite a lot of potatoes to eat at the moment. And what time does this mean, Story? Hmm? Is it time for you to go to sleep? Just having one last look out the window at the world. Uh-oh. <laughs> Is that a nice breeze coming in from the window? Yeah, take in all the sights. You can dream about it when you go to sleep. Okay? What's that? Hola! Oh, it's You're saying hello to everybody tonight, aren't you? Tractors, cars. What a night! <laughs> and that's your pig noise. Oh, what da da? Hmm? What da da? What da? Oh, go. Tractor. 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 Can you hear one? Story's in bed and Sasha's about to put together the quiche of the century. <laughs> well, it's the quiche of the moment, isn't it? It's our summer dish, yeah. our favourite food of the heat wave. <laughs> it is really hot in here as well. The sun has been out all day, the clouds have been looking amazing all day. It's been a good day. I'll leave her to that, bring in the laundry. I was planning on dealing with the garden today, doing some extra planting, but never got round to it. I did do some research on the beans though, and they said they need to be in full sun, which is where they are, so can't really do much more than that. Well, I'm sure there's plenty more I can do, and I need to put little sticks in them so they can grow up here, but that's pretty much all I know. <laughs> well, I'm just doing dinner, so we've got a little salad already on the plates. The quiche is fresh out of the oven. And look how delicious these look. I've done turmeric potato wedges and they look really lovely. And there we have it. Dinner is served. So we're just gonna walk the last stretch. Get some exercise in those legs. You just made your job harder for yourself, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Letting her out. I thought, oh, she not wanna walk. And she doesn't, she just wants to push the chair. <laughs> That's better.